No doubt Michael Jackson has affected the lives of many people around the world, but one woman who worked with Jackson in the late 80s says it was a life-changing experience. Tatiana Thompson was the featured dancer in Jackson's 1988 video, The Way You Make Me Feel. She has now written a tell-all book called The Way He Made Me Feel. And in their first news interview, Tatiana joins me now live from Davie, Florida, along with the co-author of the book, Tanya Ryan. Good morning to both of you, and thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you, Thank you for having you. us. And Tatiana, I have to ask you this question uh, right out of the blocks because a lot of people may question your motivation for releasing this book given the situation Michael Jackson is currently in, legally speaking. Why did you decide to write this book and why did you decide to release it now? Well, first of all, um, it's my autobiography. It's not a tell-all and it's not a kiss-and-tell, even though the media will say what, you know, will, will call it what they will. Um, but it is an autobiography and I, initially it derived from a journal that I kept while living in Hollywood, California. So um, I uh, kept a journal and basically uh, it was very therapeutic and cathartic for me because at that time I had endured so much pain and trauma throughout my experiences in LA, especially working with Michael, that um, I needed an outlet and um, God gave me the outlet and uh, that's what I did. Well, we're, I, looking, we're looking at pictures of you on stage with Michael Jackson. You shared a kiss with him on stage. That made big news then because I believe it was touted as the first public kiss Michael Jackson had ever given yes, uh, another woman. So tell us, what was the nature of your relationship with Michael Jackson? Well, the nature uh, basically was more professional than anything, but I was invited a few times to the set of different video shoots and... Um, and it, it was really more professional than anything, but there were feelings that we shared between one another. But there were members of his entourage that were threatened, that I feel were threatened, and his family shared the same opinion. And um, before I knew it, I was uh, kicked off the tour for what I'm assuming was a kiss that Michael had actually agreed upon. So it was something that we agreed to do and uh, before I knew it I was no longer a part of that tour and I had become uh, very close with the family and as a matter of fact I signed with his father Joseph Jackson under management soon after that. Tanya I want to bring you into this because what was it about Tatiana's story that made you want to get involved in this project and, and help her author this book? Well, basically, when I met Tatiana, I wasn't taking on any new projects at the time. I was a webmaster, and I wrote for a few different magazines, freelance. And her story interests me so much because I wasn't really a fan of Michael Jackson's, as opposed to most of the people that Tatiana had came in contact with in her life that did want to help her, you know, write the book or develop her website like she wanted to do. I. I was so intrigued by her story because when I first met her, there was a restaurant I used to frequent in South Beach pretty often, and Tatiana was a hostess there, and so many people recognized her each day, and I was surprised because I didn't recognize her from any of Michael's videos, and for people to still recognize her each day, we one of, a, a friend, that a mutual friend of both of ours introduced us, and he he, you know, he had told me Tatiana wants to write a book, she wants to develop a website, you know, can you help her? Because he knew that, that I had the means to help her. So basically when all of these people were so interested in her story, coming up to her daily, you know, she was just a hostess at the time, you know, she, the, that video was about 14 years ago. Right, and I want to I get one last question to Tatiana because we're running out of time, but when Michael Jackson was accused of child molestation back in 1993, mm -hmm. you stood by him, in fact, let's read a quick excerpt from your book, you said in part, I could not allow myself to believe that this Peter Pan humanitarian could commit such an awful crime or act on a child. You went on to say, my love for Michael and my belief in him gave me the willpower and strength to go forward with my pursuit and to speak out on his behalf. Exactly. Would you still stand by him today? I, I'm honestly so confused with uh, my emotions on what's going on, but I am praying for him, yes, and I would truly like to believe in Michael, and um, all I can do is say I wish him well, even though I have moved on in my life with my affections, and uh, I'm single and available, but I wish <laughs> Michael the very, very best, and um, I want to say one thing. This is not just a book about Michael. This is about my life and all the things that I have experienced and learned within my um, 
time in, in Hollywood and showbiz, and I think it's a great book for young starlets and hopefuls who go to Hollywood with uh, big stars in their eyes and a, and a dream in their heart. There's so much there to learn about the different pitfalls, and I talk about so many different um, people that I've come across and work with, like Robert De Niro or Prince or Debbie Allen or Eddie Murphy, so it's not just about Michael, and the timing is abs an absolute fluke. I mean, I... I had nothing to do with the timing. Yeah, well, Tatiana has been working on this book for since 1992, and her and I have been working on it together for two and a half years. Well, so. We appreciate you all taking the time to join us today. Tatiana Thank you for Johnson, having us. Tanya Ryan, co-authors of The Way He Made Me Feel. Have a great day, both of you. Thank you, you too. Thank Bye -bye. you. Any sign of an adult relationship may have quelled rumors about Michael's unusual interest in children. So, in 1987, Michael's mother came to his rescue just as she'd set up her son with Teresa Gonsalves 13 years earlier. Catherine Jackson pinned her hopes on Tatiana Thompson, a dancer with stars in her eyes. Mrs. J told me that Michael spoke to her during the video one morning and expressed his love for me. The video was for Michael's song, The Way You Make Me Feel. Tatiana played a damsel in distress, and Michael a cad with a crush. Despite their on-screen chemistry, Tatiana was mystified by Michael's method of telling her the way he felt. I mean, if he's so crazy about me, and he's this guy's in love with me, why doesn't he call me? Why doesn't he tell me or express, you know, his feelings to me? Why is everyone else telling me but him? But when Tatiana acted on the information Catherine had given her, she came face to face with the enigma that Michael Jackson had become. I had been invited on tour with Michael, and I took it upon myself to kind of change the routine a bit. Something just came over me. And then I looked into Michael's eyes, and <laughs> he did the sexiest thing. He bit his bottom lip. It was like, you know, it was kind of like, like he was challenging me, like, come on. You know, show me what you got. And the next thing I know, we're, we're locked in a kiss, and his hands were on my hip. I remember backstage, when I ran into his mother, Catherine, she greeted me with the warmest hug. The next person, that's pain I'll never forget. His manager, Frank DeLeo, gave me the most evil look. And um, that was it. I was off the tour. Tatiana found out the hard way about the demons that drove Michael Jackson. For years, Michael's mother had manipulated his love life, but now Michael had a chance to make a choice all of his own. I had um, gone to his trailer to try and talk to him. And I stood there with Ricky Schroeder and Alfonso Ribeiro, and they went in to see Michael. And I stood up, waiting. And I never, I never spoke to Michael again.